Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And welcome back to another thrifty video. We are heading to the bins today. We're going to the bins and we're gonna find some cool stuff. I am looking for things to resell online. We're gonna thrift some goodies. Last time I was here, I got two pairs of Sorel boots and all these other really fun things that I have already flipped for hundreds of dollars. And I said, I think I spent like 40 bucks that day. So I'm really, really excited to see what we can find today. And I'll take you guys in with me, of course. It's gonna be a thrift with me in the bins. And if you're not familiar with the Goodwill bins, it is where excess donations, just like a lot of overflow and also things that don't sell in the store, that's where they go. And so, you can find some really good gems there. In the bins I've found before, Balenciaga, Versace, Burberry, Gucci. I have found so many ridiculous things in the bins. And so I'm excited to see what we can find today. We're gonna sell these things on Poshmark and eBay for some profit and maybe I'll find some stuff for us too. So if that sounds good to you guys, then stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button and give today's video a thumbs up. Well, let's head to the bins. knitted in Uruguay. <gasps> Why? Oh my gosh. Now, real quick, before we get into the rest of this amazing thrift with me, where I find the most incredible things, including three pairs of freaking Prada shoes. I know. Let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Vendu. My biggest issue in the past with reselling has been cross-posting things from just not Poshmark, but to eBay and Mercari and to all these other sites. It felt so overwhelming, but what I use Vendu to do is to easily cross post multiple pieces of clothing to all these different websites and I can do it so quickly. And the biggest issue I've been facing when I've done that is if something sells on eBay, then I have to go in and take it down really quick from Poshmark because otherwise sometimes I'll sell things on more than one site. The best thing that Vendu has done recently, I am obsessed with this, now they have the system for Poshmark and eBay, which are my two main selling platforms where it will automatically detect sales and delist those pieces from your other sites. So for me, if I sell something on Poshmark, it will automatically delist it from eBay. So I have peace of mind because you can really get dinged, especially on eBay, if you have to cancel orders because you don't have an item. So I have definitely had issues with that in the past, but they just implemented this sale detection and delisting just this last month in July, and it has been a game changer for my business. So I have definitely found that a subscription of Vendu pays for itself so quickly and it gives me such peace of mind. It allows me to cross list. It has so many different features. If you use my link in the description, you'll get a great deal. And it also you can try it out for free and see if you like the system of cross listing. There's really no risk with trying it out. At least try it and see if you like it because I really feel like if you try it, you will fall in love with it. If you are a part-time or full-time reseller, I get so many questions asked about how I relist and delist and how I cross post, this is how I do it at Vendu. So thank you so much to Vendu for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now let's head back to the thrift store because I'm about to find some amazing things and then I'll meet you back here in a little bit.
looking for these singles. Let's see if I can find them. Okay, friends, we are back home and holy cow, I found such great things today in the bins. Guys, if anybody tells you you cannot find good things in the bins, they are liars. There are so many good things to be found. It just depends on what day you go. There's not a bad bins location. You just have to keep on going and be consistent. Let's get into this thrift haul. I have so many pieces here. So I ended up spending $82.58 and I picked up 33 items. And a lot of those are shoes. So shoes are gonna be a little bit heavier and more expensive than just regular clothing. My bins here in Indy are $1.79 per pound. So for 33 items, I paid $2.50 per item, which is really good actually, especially for all the shoes I got because shoes have a high profit margin. So let's jump into it, shall we? Also, I just want to give a shout out and thank you to Laura. I actually met three of you guys, three subscribers at the bins this day, but Laura and I got there at the same time. We spent the whole day thrifting together and it was so much fun. So Laura, if you're watching, thank you for hanging out with me and helping me find some of these amazing pieces. The first pair of shoes I'm going to show you guys. I have three pairs of Prada shoes. If that doesn't make the thumbnail, I don't know what would, but <laughs> this is the first pair. I am so pleased and excited about these. So this is what the bottoms look like. They are really in great condition. There's the Prada logo. At my bins, they do not put shoes together. They just get dumped in the bins out of all like maybe eight bins. There's no sense of reason between where a shoe will be. So sometimes a shoe will be in this bin and then on the far side on a different like bin entirely. So I am so lucky that I found these shoes. I actually made some friends with people and they handed me the second one of these after I showed them that I was looking for it. So I am very, very, very grateful to them. This is a pair of, I would say, dark, very dark brown leather shoes. And then you can see the Prada logo there on the front as well. And these say that they're in a men's size 11. And guys, these look like they're great condition. If these are fake, I would be shocked because I found more than one. There's so many details on this that are just like so well done. I am really excited about those. I feel like those are a great pickup. I'm assuming that I can resell those for well over $100 would be my estimate. And then the second pair here, and this is what also makes me think that these are real because I found three pairs in the same rotation and they're all about the same size. So I do feel like um, if somebody was going to be donating their shoes, it makes more sense that I would find three in the same-ish size. So this is a pair of little driving loafers. They're a blue suede shoe. And then this Prada logo is right there there on the front there as well as on the bottom there's another Prada logo on the black rubber and it's just like a, a typical driving moccasin it has a little bit of a reach around on the back so when you put your foot on the gas it will not destroy your shoe these say made in Italy they are I think a double wide and they're a size 12 so size 11 size 12 both kind of like a loafer style really really 
really good shoes. I would say again, I would be willing to bet that I can resell those for well over $100. And then the last pair of the Prada shoes is actually what I found first. I didn't find those men's ones until quite a bit later in the rotation when I was just, you know, searching through the bins. But I found one of these in one bin. I spent so long looking for the second one and I found it before somebody else grabbed it. So I was so excited. This is a women's pair of Prada shoes. So I'm assuming a very uh, wealthy couple maybe donated their Prada shoes. These are really cool. These ones have more wear than the others. You can see the toe wear here. I'm thinking about trying to clean these up. But then there is the Prada logo. And then also all of this fabric has the Prada logo and insignia embossed all over it. And then we also have Prada here on the foot. A lot of shoes, I was doing reverse image search, a lot of shoes that were similar to the style and age have the same Prada and also that same kind of wear to them. So these are a flat pair of shoes. Here's the bottoms and there is the Prada logo again. It says made in Italy on the bottom. These are a size 38 and a half. So I am beyond jazzed. Like, could I have imagined a better find today at the bins? Probably not. And again, I think each one of those should resell for over $100. I spent 80 something dollars for everything. So we're looking, we're looking like we're sitting real pretty right now. I'm very happy. But let me show you some more of the shoes because I'm a shoe gal. I have some clothes here to show you too. But some of these shoes are just shockingly great. <laughs> Again, something that I had to go around and around the bins looking for the pair for was this pair of little suede shoes. These are nice, a little kind of tie up sneaker but when i saw the inside i got really excited it's k22 scotch so i know scotch and soda and then i've never really found men's pieces from it but then i looked on the bottom here and i saw that it is from scotch and soda which is a great brand to resell especially like leather from them would do really good i've only sold clothing before and those have done really well for me these are in a us size 11 so a men's size 11 same round as the prada shoes so now i'm wondering if i just happen upon a really um bougie man's wardrobe maybe i'm not mad about it so scotch and soda shoes, I'm assuming these will probably be sell for at least $75. That's what I'm gonna probably list around. I'll have to do some more research on the comps, but I think that that would do excellent as well. I know I'm showing you a lot of shoes at first. It's just like, I'm so excited about these. I found two pairs of Hoka's. Like, what is this bin strip? Am I right? This pair of Hoka's, men's pair. These ones are in a size 11 and a half D, so a wide. Again, same size. Well, I'm really kind of second guessing my entire life right now. And then this pair is a women's pair, a pair of Hoka's. And these are actually in my size, which is a size nine. These ones have quite a bit of kind of like just discoloration. They have some stains on them. So I was thinking about just keeping these for myself. If I want to resell either of these pairs of Hoka's, I would clean them up, especially this one over here. The men's pair has a lot of coloring and dirt on the side, but these clean up super well. If you take a toothbrush and some soapy water and just scrub along this white edge on the bottom, it comes usually right off. And I've done that with many pairs of Hoka's I've gotten in the bins and then they resell for me right around $48. So usually around 50 bucks and all you have to do is scrub for like maybe five minutes on your shoes, which I think is super easy. These I might not even bother with. Maybe I'll just wear those myself. So those are some of the amazing shoes, but there's so much more. So another thing I found in a shoe bin. So somebody threw this back. I am still shocked by it. I found this amazing Dooney and Burke purse. Like, what is happening here? This black and brown leather Dooney and Burke purse is so nice. We have the little kind of attachment here, the gold Dooney and Burke logo. Another Dooney and Burke logo here. It has the feet on the bottom. Really good condition, to be honest. For being in the bins, I am pretty impressed by how well it's been taken care of. We have the black interior, we have this leather pocket. The last time I had a Dooney and Burke purse about this size, it sold for, I believe, $150. So this Dooney and Burke purse, again, we're probably looking at reselling this for close to 100 bucks, which is making my uh, pile of profit seem really good right now. And this doesn't always happen, but when it does, we're excited about it. So there's that. This next piece, let's do a piece of clothing, shall we? We have this amazing pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans, which I do not always pick up, but I've been sleeping on these and maybe I shouldn't be. 
These are a more recent style and they're a very popular cut. So Abercrombie and Fitch, the 90s straight, ultra high rise jeans in Curve Love. And they're size 10, which is a good size. So these are gonna be really cute. They have a little slit there at the foot, which is so cute. They're a straight jean. They're really high waisted. They're in literally brand new condition. I was looking up how much these should go for and I was pleasantly surprised that a lot of sold, at least on Poshmark, for the same pair of jeans sold for around 50 to 60 bucks. So that was a great pickup. Again, people leave behind denim and shoes in the bins, things that are heavier. I find that even with them being heavier, they're still worth picking up because the bins price things so low. But now let's share a few pairs of clogs, shall we? This first one is this adorable red leather little clog. These are Danskos. I love selling Danskos. I find them to do really well for me. I know not everybody feels that way, but here's the Dansko logo. I love anything that has the little strap on the back. Any Mary Jane styles from them do really, really well. These are in a size 41, which I believe is close to a, probably a nine or 10, maybe a 10. These are literally such good condition. They look like they've never been worn. There's no wear at all where the foot goes. I would say for a pair of dance goes in this kind of condition, I can sell these for at least 50 bucks. Right around 50 is what I would expect for those. And then I found the second pair of dance goes, another kind of more fun style. A lot of dance goes are just like a real solid clog. These ones are this brown leather. They have a really fun front to them. They have a little bit of a an interesting like, I don't know what that is. Maybe a heel like thing to make you so you don't slide out. I'm gonna try to take those off. We'll see what we can do. These are in a size 42. They are real leather and again, really good condition. So again, for those probably close to 50 bucks, maybe a little bit less. And then the last pair of clogs I found are these ones. Really a cute style again. The style has a lot to do with how these are gonna sell. These are in a size 39. And these are not actually dance goes, but they are Alegrias, which also can do really well. So I'm thinking for these, maybe 35 to 50. But again, I spent $2.50 on each pair of these shoes, including the Prada shoes and, you know, the scotch and soda, all these things that should do really well. Very happy with those. And then when I first walked in, I was like, I don't know if today's gonna be a good day in the bins. And then I literally walked in, this lady was putting things back in the bin. And one of the things I saw her throw in was a belt. And I heard it hit the bottom of the bin and I said, hmm, I'm gonna check on that belt. Guys, it is an amazing black leather belt, brand new with tags from Patricia Nash. So here is the logo, here is the tag. Patricia Nash makes bags and accessories. She might make other things. I've never found anything other than a bag from her before until today, but this isn't a size medium. It's hundred percent leather. Her bags I have resold and found for like probably close to a hundred bucks, at least 60. This is an amazing kind of like snakeskin leather belt, really gorgeous condition and it's new with tags. I have no idea. I didn't even look it up. I just knew I had to grab it. Even for $2.50, super worth it. I feel like I can probably resell this for 50 bucks. Isn't that so cute? New with tags, brand new. Duty and work, Prada, Patricia Nash. It's like, it's crazy. <laughs> that same bin, I found this sweater which is super cute, it's a chunky knit. It's got those three buttons at the bottom and this is from Free People. I like Free People, I like to resell it. This one's in a size medium. I find the chunkier pieces and newer styles do better than the older styles, depending, you know, some are more rare and sought after. But for that, I think I can resell it for around maybe 30 bucks, we'll see. I'll have to throw it through the wash and we'll see how it comes out. And then we have this amazing number. Very happy with this. This is a very interesting kind of asymmetric one shoulder moment. It's a black formal gown. Goes all the way down. Absolutely stunning. Lots of unique kind of ruching and draping there. This is a first time pickup for me, but I did find this in the bins. And this is from the brand. I'm sure I'm gonna butcher it. Monique Louie, Monique Louie. I'm pretty sure I put this on my dress brand list and I had never found it, but Monique Louie Bridesmaids. This is in a size two. I was looking at comps and some 
dresses from this brand were reselling for over $200. So $100, $200, $250. There's so many different price points in there, but I think I can probably resell this for around a hundred bucks. Easy, $2.50, another hundred dollar item probably. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm so jazzed. <laughs> Guys, this is such a good day in the bins. And then we have a pair of Hunter boots. Again, first time when I walked in, these shoes had been picked over so many times. I picked up three different single Hunter boots. I couldn't find the other one for the third, but two of them did match and I was really happy about it. So a pair of black Hunter boots, great color, great style. It's the tall one and these are in a US size eight. So a women's size eight, they look like they're in great condition. I think I can resell those for at least 40 bucks. And then we have this pair of boots. Again, I went around and around those shoes looking for the match to this and it took me forever, but I got there. They are a brown leather stacked heel, little booty, really pretty good condition. There's somewhere here on the foot, but really good overall. And I was so excited when I found one of these because these should do really well. It's gonna be really hard to see on the inside of here. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to see, but maybe you can see down here. These are from Rag and Bone. <laughs> so a Rag and Bone pair of leather booties should also do really well. Rag and Bone, a good brand to resell. I've only found their jeans before. So I just looked up comps and I think that these little booties should resell for right around 35 to 50 bucks. I'm kind of thinking the $50 end because this leather is really nice and a lot of the other ones I saw weren't as good quality leather, but super cute. Again, for $2.50, even if it sells for 30, I think that's gonna be great. And then we have this purple ribbed sweater. It looks absolutely tiny, but it's an extra large. It does stretch quite a bit. And this is a Sundance piece. So Sundance, I really enjoy reselling. It does well for me. I'm thinking for this sweater, I'll probably get 25 to $35. So a little bit of the smaller end of my things, but like it was $2.50. So not too shabby. And then y'all, if you've been around for a while, then you will know that I love picking up knit pieces. Look at this incredible knit teddy bear sweater. He's wearing a little like French outfit right so cute i don't know what's going on but i love it and it is from south wool a high percent pure new wool embroidered by hand made in uruguay isn't that incredible like i sell these knit pieces that are handmade and hand knit and really unique all the time for 50 dollars and up so sometimes i will sell those for 75 100 bucks so that's already a great find and i have another one <laughs> so Let's look at this one too, guys. All right, I don't know if you're ready for this because it's pretty stinking cool. Like, I don't know if you're ready for this. Look at that. It is the same brand. And it's this amazing knit Santa riding a reindeer sweater. The same exact thing. South wool, 100% pre new wool. Hand knitted, made in Uruguay. It's a size large. The other one was also a size large. Here's the tag again. I found these at two different times, two different bins, but... I picked both up. These are amazing. And then also knitted around the sleeve end are these candles and along the hem as well. I just think this is so good. It's so cool. And I know it'll sell well coming Christmas time. Again, at least $50. That would, that would shock me if I didn't list it for like around a hundred. So good. <laughs> so good. And then I found this beautiful little jacket. And this is not a brand I, I ever pick up. It's Banana Republic, but this is a gorgeous metallic jacket. I don't know if you're gonna read the metallic on camera, but all of the flowers are gold metallic. It has the cloth covered buttons, and this is mostly silk. It's 86% silk. It also has the remove before wearing tag still attached. So it's in excellent condition. Maybe it's been worn, but really beautiful coat. Gorgeous condition, really pretty size large. I think for that, I can get at least $35. I'm hoping at least. And then of course we have um, another crazy find, which I was going around and around those shoe bins with somebody else, uh, just a random lady I made a friend with, and she handed me the Prada shoe I was looking for. She also asked me if I wanted this Michael Kors bag. <laughs> and I said, sure, <laughs> of course I do. 
and it is this white Michael Kors bag. We have the Michael Kors logo here. It's not Michael by Michael Kors. This is actual the designer part. So I think it's not the diffusion line. I'll have to look it up. It does have a kind of noticeable stain on the inside. It's like some discoloration in there. I'll see if I can clean it. If it's worth cleaning, it is missing the crossbody strap, unfortunately. We were able to find this bag though, me and Laura. We were doing a reverse image search. It used to have like a chain crossbody strap. Without that, I'm not sure if it's gonna be super worth reselling. I probably could only, maybe I'll try to just sell it quickly for like 35 bucks, 25 bucks. If I had the strap and it was in perfect condition, I could resell it for over a hundred probably pretty easily. But I think we're just gonna try to let that one go quickly. And then we have a pair of Abeo little booties. These are in great shape, really nice. Abeo is a good shoe brand. They have these marked as $6.99 at Goodwill. No one wanted them for that much. And I have a style name, they're the Yorkie in a size 10. So I think I can do well with those, probably like 35 for that. And then we have a pair of Uggs. These are a pair of slippers. Ugg slippers do really well for me. I haven't tried to sell a moccasin in a hot minute, so we'll see. But the inside, the fluff is in great condition. So I picked these up and these are in a size six. So a little small, but I still think because they're in really good condition, especially on the bottom inside, I think I can get probably close to 40 bucks for those, maybe 35. Then I have this pair of booties. Again, I'm telling you guys, I found a lot of pairs of shoes. Again, 250 though for each pair. These are a pair of Coconuts by Matisse little booties. They're in great shape. They're a pointy toe little booty, actual suede, real leather, really good condition. Look at the bottom, really good. It looks like somebody was trying to sell them somewhere. There's like all these marks on them, but these are in a size nine. They're my size. So I was like, even if I decide not to resell these, I'll keep these for myself. But I think I can probably resell those for right around $35, maybe 25 if they don't go very quickly. And then these I saw in the beginning and I went back for because I was like, maybe they're worth it. I'll look them up. I did a reverse image search and realized that these were actually a pretty good piece from UGG. At first they were pretty unassuming and I was like, because of the camouflage, I didn't know if they're gonna be worth picking up, but these are a pair of Uggs. They're kind of like a little short chuck a boot. Um, and when I looked up the reverse image search, I was shocked that a lot of these were selling for 50 or 60 bucks. I would have expected like maybe 20, but the comps were really good. These are in a US size seven. So I do think that I will be able to sell these for 50 or 60, which is shocking to me personally. Maybe it's just because this isn't my personal style, but things don't have to be your personal style to sell and make you money. So those were a great pickup. I don't know if you guys can see Otis. He's back on the couch. He looks like a blanket, but that's, that's my fluffy golden doodle, of course. And then I found this, which I think is so fun. I love sparkles. I love selling them. I think it's so good. This is an amazing piece from Torrid. It is a long duster with kind of like a shorter sleeve, maybe in, maybe like just like elbow length, really sparkly, silver duster, absolutely stunning, has so many of these sequins, great condition, in a Torrid size three, and I am loving it. I think I can probably resell this for at least $35. I also kind of maybe want to wear it myself <laughs> once or twice, I don't know. It's not really my size, but it could be just fun, so. I have that and then I grabbed this for my mom. It's just like one of those like throw on kind of caftans, a Pikachu for Jeremy's office, a pair of Adidas sneakers for my little brother, a pair of overall shorts that I didn't try on in there, but they're gonna be oversized and hopefully really cute. I got those from me. This is from an anime that my husband likes. So I got that to surprise him even just as a joke. And then the very last thing I got is absolutely amazing and is a great bolo so if you guys don't know this now you will but my friend laura she let me have this i gave her a belt that was meaningful to her and she let me have this poly pocket amazing little carrying case but the kicker guys is it's not empty so poly pockets especially vintage ones the ones from my childhood so maybe like the 2000s can go for a lot of money this is like would have been the epitome of amazingness as a child. Look, it's full, it's full. It has all of these different furniture pieces. It has lots of clothing in here, which is just, you know, making my little 2000s Polly Pocket gal heart sing. 
I am so happy about this. There's also pets in here. There are no dolls, unfortunately. If you had a doll, they would go up here in the little, the little insert for them. But once I clean this puppy up, I am planning on not selling these. You could resell these for good money, but I want to keep these for future children because I regret so bad getting rid of my Polly Pockets. But like, look inside this wardrobe. Oh yeah, isn't that satisfying? Somebody hung up all their little Polly Pocket clothes. Oh yeah, that's that's the good stuff right there. So very excited about this. I'll have to put up a comp on the screen for you guys of what Polly Pocket things like this can go for. I know it's probably a lot, but I love, I loved Polly Pockets. I'm so excited to have some of these things now that I can save for a future kid and share that piece of my childhood with them. You know, it's so fun. So that's it. Those are the 33 pieces I picked up to resell. I spent $80 for all of this. And I mean, I'm probably expecting to make hundreds of dollars from these pieces, which is absolutely insane. If you haven't been to a Goodwill outlet, then you should definitely check out some of the Goodwill outlets near you. I know that they're kind of scattered, so it's, a, it's worth a trip, guys. It really is. And so let me know down below which piece was your favorite. I can't get over the Prada shoes. Those are like absolutely ridiculous to me, but I need to know what you guys thought of this haul. I think it's my best I've ever had from a bins, and I have found Gucci and Burberry and Balenciaga. Like I found all these sorts of things before, but not Prada. Today's the first. And thank you so much to Venue for sponsoring this video. I love their platform so much and it really is a great service at a great price and it will help you escalate and increase your business by so much. I think it's such a worthy investment. Check them out for free using my link in the description. And also that helps to support my channel. So please check them out. You will not regret it. I promise you. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.